This is Fred Beck from Fred Joyce Fighting, mm-hmm. proudly sponsored by Empire Fight Store and Stan. Very lucky joined by once again Grim Sickers. Grim, how have you been there, mate? What have you been up to then? Yeah, man, I've just been up to, I've got a headline show coming up, so I'm just uh, rehearsals, getting in shape, and uh, yeah, man, focusing on that, man, really, and when I'm not watching boxing, man, I'm just in the gym, just all in the studio, bro. And can people buy tickets to that now, are tickets available? Yeah, man, we've got my Instagram, Grim Sickers, man. Like, I literally, these, these are boxing purists, but I say a lot of boxing lyrics in my stuff, so if, if you want to have a go, man, we'll probably sell out by the time this comes out, friend, so if it's still tickets, man, get some tickets. How many tickets are available for it? Do you know? Oh, it's just a small show, man, 250, but I, I, I like the compact show sometimes, man. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's cool for me sometimes. I've done the big shows, but we do a couple of smaller ones now. It's kind of like your cool and the atmosphere will <laughs> be really good. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of yeah, like your cool, like compact and like it's just you and them and it more. I, I like it like that, man. So yeah, man, it's, it's, it's like your cool. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good comparison. Yeah, I've been in your cool a couple of times with shows. It's, I always thought it's really cold in there. So I'm low, you're normally fine when you go to these shows. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, all the press are normally in like suits and quite smart. But when when I go to these shows in York Hall, the press are like wearing big puffer jackets, big hoodies, beanies. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's fight week today. Yeah, man. On oh, fight we started yesterday yes. on the Monday for Chris Eubank Jr. and so Liam Williams. Yes. Listening to Boston Social Podcast of Barry Jones and Rob Tebbett. We're just talking about that. And one yep. thing I find quite interesting about it, and I've interviewed Harlem Eubank a couple of times, who's Chris Eubank's cousin. Harlem Eubank's coach is Adam Booth, and Adam Booth is training Liam yep. Williams. What do you kind of make of that? Do you think that's kind of right? That his, his uh, trainer is training his Nah, coach? man. And I, I, think it's, I, think, I think it's kind of like, uh, I think it's kind of cheeky. Not cheeky, but it's like morals of a man, which it says a lot to me. And it says to me, uh, it's, I think it's quite low. I think it's sneaky. I, 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 and that's the reason I want New Banks to win. Um, I saw the gloves are off yesterday. Uh, I wasn't really too impressed with Williams with uh, because you were tweeting quite heavily, tweeting aggressive. But really, in the gloves are off, I, I felt like he was a bit subdued and uh, a bit blown away by the occasion. I think New Banks is, is in his head already, to be fair. I think uh, Williams are a great fighter as well, but I can see uh, the only thing I, f- I'm, I, I fear, Fred, is uh, it's in Wales, and that's the that's the that's the biggest factor that Liam's got. That's very true. Just just touch on gloves off there. When I spoke to Adam, Adam Smith today, I asked him about why was Annie Joshua's says Big Baby Miller the gloves are off? They were never released, were they? On Sky. Oh yeah. And he was like, I, I would love to see that, you know. Yeah, same. And he was like, Oh yeah, I'll have to have a look in the back and see if I can chase it up. So hopefully that might be released soon on Sky Sports. Yeah. If, it really, if it was released on Fred, it's fine. They need to. But no, it released on Sky. But yeah. just going back to the Chrissy Bank Jr. It'll be good, it'll be good. Yeah, just going back to the Chrissy Bank Jr. versus Liam Williams. Do you think that affect Chris at all with the fights in Cardiff? I don't think I don't think it affect him mentally, but it could affect the judges or the ref. Uh, the home crowd, I think... I still think Liam Williams is an underdog, but the big factor he's got the, the, the home crowd behind him will will do a lot. But it's it's for Styles, Fred. Liam Williams will come forward. Is he a better boxer than Chris? I don't know. Liam thinks he thinks uh, thinks I think so. But I think Chris will. Uh, I think Chris will catch him. You know. I think Liam 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 might get stopped. That's that's the way I could see it going. You going? No, sadly not, man. I'm sadly not. But you know what, bro? I'm just excited that boxing's back, man. It feels like I'm so excited for this fight on Saturday. And then I can't down the days. I'm watching every bit of footage I can, every bit of content. Can't come quick enough for me, man. Do, do, do you feel like the same same enthusiasm? Yeah, I find it weird how the British world of boxing, they call off boxing in the month of January when all the other sports are still on. Yeah. It's a bit. It does seem sometimes. Yeah, we know it does seem kind of, kind of a bit odd. So that that fight, it's, it's not even pay-per-view either. It's normal Saturday night fight night. Oh, amazing. I, I, I think it is a fight night, though. It's not, they're not elite yet. I think they both failed at world level and the winner will get another chance. And the loser, I wouldn't say it's finished, but it's, it's a long road back. It's a, it's a Felix Cash, it's a Denzel Bentley. It's, it's, it's that next, do you know what I mean? Mm, it's even, I see, see Felix Cash is still very, very... Very good boxer. He's been out for the ring for a while, hasn't he? Nearly a year. He's live. Yeah, I thought I thought I thought he had a great win over Denzel Bentley, man. But he needed to move on. And but unfortunately, he's still European champion, though, right? Mm. 
Yeah, no, I think I don't yeah, he's, all... he's Commonwealth champ. I don't know if he's no, no I think he's British and Commonwealth champ, but I don't know if I don't think he's British yeah. Commonwealth, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well he's still got the bounce, man. And listen, the middle the middleweight division, I feel like Ever since everyone left for super middle, it's been a bit slept on that division a little bit, hasn't it? It's one of it. The money's kind of gone out of that division, you know what I mean? Since, yeah, well, yeah, since the worst. I think, well, Golovkin's, I think kind of Golovkin's holding all up though, isn't he? Because he hasn't fought in ages and he holds quite a few of the belts. That's the thing, that might, might be one of the problems. But it kind of yeah, is. but I heard that um, Andrade's vacated. Oh, I'm meant to be, I'm meant to be speaking to Andrade soon after asking, him, but I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's official he's vacated though. Well, I'm only going off that because... Frank Warren said that Zach Parker and Andrade is going to get done for the WBS, and that's obviously super middleweight. So I don't know. Can he can, can he still go up and fight at, at super middle with the middle one? I, I, I don't I don't know. If Zach Parker and Andrade is over here, that'd be really good. Hang to me. Was that for sale? That'd be a good fight. UK when they would in the you US. Know, so- Zach Parker's gone under the radar a little bit, man. I feel like his brand needs to be a bit bigger. But the boxing purist fans know, yeah, Zach Parker's he's a problem at super middleweight. He's probably one of our best super middleweights, man. But he hasn't got that defining win under his belt. He hasn't, do you know what I'm saying? He needs that big name, that big scope to see where he is. Is he the real deal? Hey, will he fight Canelo if he wins? Like, what you, you know what I'm saying? So he needs, he need, I think he needs like another big win. He's a, he fought Marcus Morrison his last fight and he stopped Marcus Morrison. And Chris Eubank Jr. went the distance. Yeah. But he, Jack, Jack Park is uh, he's quite... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember, man. I remember back in the day, yeah, and I'm not sure you, you might not remember this, bro, yeah, Zach Parker had a fight against this guy on the Super Series, right? Uh, Black Geezer, I can't remember, Suffolk Williams, bro, and, and the other guy won by miles, yeah? And uh, he went on IFL TV and cried after because the decision went to bed. Um, went against him and, and he hadn't had a fight since. Do you remember that one or not really? I don't, I don't know that. I'll, I'll look it up after. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guy went on IFL. He was crying. said, yeah, I got robbed and on the, the train camp for my family. And it was against Zach Parker. I, I, I remember, man. So I found out about, about Zach Parker. But since, since then, Zach Parker's done well, man. Fair play to him. Can't wait to see you, see you against Andrade. I hope you fight Andrade next. And I, 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 I wouldn't be shocked if uh, Zach Parker beat him. And hopefully that fight's in the UK. That's, that's a good fight. I think a lot of people might say, oh, it's not a great fight. But when the fight actually happens, I think it will be quite, quite good. It's not a ticket seller. I think it's not a ticket seller. It has to be over here. It has to be over here. Yeah, it has to be over here. Where's he from? Derby or somewhere like that? Like back off. Oh, not entirely sure where he's from. Or something. Where's he from? No, no. Oh, okay, all right. Sure. I shouldn't be guessing like that then. But um, he... he um, if over here, I think it needs to be over here, brother, because that will sell nothing in America. No offense to no in the boxes. Andrade is not a big ticket seller. You're more known by getting cussed up by Canelo bro, at the press conference after the Billy Joe fight. It's the only reason we really know him, really. But then I think yeah, that fight will sell over here. And when I spoke to Demetrius, he said he didn't want to come fight over in the UK because a lot of American fighters do want to come fight over here, which is quite a, which is quite a good thing. And one American fighter which is coming to fight over here is Daniel Jacobs versus. John Ryder and Alexander Palace, and you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah. And that's that's, yeah. Gonna be, that's been very loud in Alexander. Yeah. You'll have Johnny Fish on the bill. He's what sold over two thousand tickets. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to that one. I'm going to that one. Hey, there's a big upset that night, boy. There's a big upset. John Ryder, John Ryder's gonna get the win he deserved after the Callum debate of a win a uh, loss. Who knows what? Who knows really what happened there? The streets know, but bro, he's he's coming. The gorilla's coming, man. I think he's a big upset, man. Honestly. The crowd don't get behind him. Uh, he's the real deal, and, and, and it's his time, man. I, I, I clearly think it's his time. What do you think? Yeah, I think I think it's been really it's a good 50 50 fight as well. That's gonna be it's gonna be real good. But have you bought tickets yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorted, man. Where whereabouts are you sitting? But you want to come? Well, hopefully, I'll get in his friend. Oh, I, oh, I couldn't tell you that. I, 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 I,
I don't know if that was one of the first rumours came around, but what are your thoughts on that fight? And there's a, there's a rematch clause as well that was announced quite, quite recently. Yeah, man, I, I can't wait, man, Fred. I'm, a, I'm totally excited for this fight, man. I think for me, like, it's, it's the fight for me. I'm a big Amir Khan fan, but Kyle Brook is looking wicked in that gym, man. Fights are a pick and fight, isn't it? All of the bookies have it. It's yeah. Crazy. I'm not... I'm not too sure. I heard that. Brooke, I heard that Brooks the favorite. Oh, okay, I can guess because maybe I right? think because maybe Khan might have a, a bad chin and then Brooks is like good timing, and that's the worst thing. If you got yeah, and a good timing, then that's a bad uh, equalizer. Yeah, man, but I can't, I can't. I can't wait for that fight, man. But you know, um, on, on this weekend, what's the undercard for Williams and and and, and uh, Eubank? I think you've got Otto Wallen fighting um, Sokolowski, and you got Carissa Shields as well. You're lying. Oh, uh, Wallen, thank God. Wow, oh, my God, that's a good fight. It's Harlem on the card as well. Harlem, you bang. I believe so, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to go. I can't, that's the one I'm looking forward to, Fred. It's man. a good card. Stephen Robinson. Stephen USR, Rob, USSR Robinson's on the card as well. He did a good win last time out. He, he's the guy in the red shorts. He's going to be Drago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know the one. I can't wait, man. Fred, I'm so excited, man. So excited, bro. Yeah, man, it's going to be good. And it's first, I think they've got, they picked a good day, isn't it? Because the first fight back, all, all, every single Boston fan in the UK is yeah. definitely, definitely watching. It's too comfortable. Oh, man, it's the first fight, first fight back, Sky main event. It's the first, then we've got next week, we've got John Ryan, and the week after that, we've got, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a blockbuster coming, man. But I can't too quickly touch on Fury and White, because we... Yeah, yeah, I was oh, going to say, oh, well, what, what, we'll start, what I heard today was, I can't remember who tweeted it, but they were saying that White still hasn't signed the contract and wants more than 20%. That's what Bruce Br- Br- broke to the lion. Oh my god, Fred, don't tell you that. Oh my god, no, but oh, I, okay. So, I, I saw Frank, Frank Warren on a previous interview recently. I don't want to say what we're on Fred's channel, so we don't want to plug anyone else's channel. Yeah, we're on Fred's, so we're gonna say, uh, I, I interview, I went to him. Uh, will uh, will Dillian be able to bring anyone with him? And I thought the interviewer meant Eddie Hunt, but he didn't say his name. And he said, Will there be anyone else at the press table? And then uh, Frank Warren was like, they can have one or two people, but that's what I wanted to know. Is Frank going to support to support Dillian at the table? Is it going to be Frank versus Eddie for the first time? Is Dillian signed it? I don't know. It's like a soap opera, bro. I'm loving every second of it, bro. What you're going to have, you're going to have I'm Frank Warren, it. and you have Eddie Hearn on one side, you can have Big John Fury, and you're going to have Dean White, and then you got Tyson Fury, and then you got Dillian. Oh, my God. Do you reckon, do you reckon that'll happen? I don't think they'll let that happen, do you? <laughs> That'd be chaos, though, wouldn't it? Imagine the media. I need to get there. That happens. <laughs> hey, you, if you're there, friend, you're you got you're going viral, man. That is, I do. Okay, so is Dillian with Matchroom? Yes. Okay, so then, then Eddie's got to be there because someone's told me he was a free agent. But I don't know if he's on fight by fight. Did he because he lost the bid? Does that mean you're with BT for one fight? I, I'm confused. That's what I'm. That's, I'm coming to a man of the knowledge like you. So I'm. I'm, com- I'm. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I can't remember the, the last time Dillian didn't box in a matchroom bill. I think he boxed in the US or like on the top rank show a really, really long time ago. That's the last time. That's the last time it's happened. And he's out training in sunny Portugal. He's always been out there. He's got good sparring. He's seen. He's seen his sparring on his Instagram with Adam Babich. He's seen that. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. It's crazy sparring. Yeah, that's but with him. I feel like, I feel like he's a bit too quiet, friend. I need to think, what's going on? You're normally like the, 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 the one of the, the talkers, like, but I feel like, is it because he's on BT that he don't want to sell the fight for Frank? Because they say, all right, cool, you'll give me this much money, you can sell the fight, I'm going to keep my mouth shut and just turn up because I'm not, I'm usually with Eddie, I'm not with Eddie, so I don't really need to do nothing because I'm not going to box for you again anyway. Do you reckon that's, that's a, he's thinking that now, I'm not really. Maybe well, that could be maybe that could be like one uh, one example. That could be one theory, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe it's because maybe because he hasn't signed. Maybe because he hasn't signed the contract yet. Maybe that might be the reason. But Tyson Fury, he's making all these yeah. isn't he? He's putting out like a video a day of him training, of him calling someone out. Yes. Or, or, uh, and dealing with a bit more quiet. I'm not sure. I have to ask Xavier Miller that when the fight gets announced, or hopefully it gets announced for official. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, I don't want to be I don't want to be assuming stuff, and I'm not one to tell a man how much money to take. But Dillian, man, I don't want you to blow the chance and, and not get nothing at all just by, do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you beat him, the rematch, you're going to be the A-side and you're going to get a, a, a big chunk. 
even if it's a uh, uh, even if Fury don't beat you convincingly, and Newsick gets injured, then you might run it again. You don't know what's what's what's, what's going to happen. So if I was Dillian, I might sign it and get training already because BT Sport is against it anyway. You're going to be against everyone. You're, you're a matchroom fighter or whoever you're represented. The odds are against you on BT anyway. Unless you knock out Fury, it's going to be very hard to get a point to win. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you know our sport, Fred. You know what I'm saying? Is your way fighter. That's quite a good point. And the match you part of going over to the Queensby show and the top rank show as well. So they top rank, they join promoting it. But it's not official, but that fight has to be in the UK, doesn't it? Oh, I've heard rumours it's in Wales. So I think, I think, yeah, it won't sell out as fast as a Joshua show. I think we've got more chance of the casuals getting, not casuals, us purists, of getting more tickets because AJ just sells to absolutely everyone, bro, and everyone knows who he is. But this fight, well, I think we got a good chance of getting tickets, man. You know when AJ fights, he's always on the front. He's always on the front page of the paper. Do you think this fight will be on the front page of the paper? Do you think it'll be that big? Uh, I think they got to work it, man. I don't think so. That that Fury's massive, yeah, he is, but he's not. He's not media savvy. You know, he is media savvy. He's not mainstream savvy as Joshua. He said too much stuff, and and more people will dislike Fury than dislike Joshua. Like people like have a love or hate Fury. But I feel uh, like Fury is more Fury is more hardcore fans than Joshua, though. I feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we understand how good he is, and I think Dillian White, he's not like a lot of people. The same with him as well. I see on the timeline. I love Dillian and I love Fury, but on the timeline, I, see, I do see negative stuff about both of them daily on my Twitter. So I think it'll be harder to sell. Well, we need to wait and find out. Hopefully it does get announced. So I did see a thing today saying Dillian hasn't signed yet, but hopefully it does get announced. But Grim, hopefully I'll see you at Alexandra Palace on the upcoming month. But yeah, all right, bro. I'll put your Instagram link in the description, but I'm sure I'll catch up soon then, mate. Thanks again. For yeah, you. yeah. Big up, man. Keep, I, I, I still say it, man. You're, you're the hottest, you're the hottest, youngest prospect out in the boxing scene. It's Fred Beck. Sick said some. Gone. Say later.